Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be doing a beauty review on the lip color that I'm wearing, which is, um, I guess these are kind of new. Um, it's um, called a L'Oreal um, Infallible Lip Paint. And here it is right here. Um, I'm wearing the color Navy Blue, which is, a, uh, I'm sorry, it's actually Navy Spy, number 308 Navy Spy. And what inspired me to do this look was actually, this is actually the look that I wore for Valentine's Day. So this um, is actually kind of maybe a little post-Valentine's Day, maybe a little bit late, but I'm sorry about that. Um, I did want to bring this video to you because um, I was inspired to do this look. Um, as I said, for Valentine's Day, because I didn't want to do like the traditional reds and pinks that, you know, you normally think of when you think about Valentine's Day. This year, um, it was a little bit rainy in my city and kind of dreary outside. So I kind of wanted to do something to incorporate that. And plus, we didn't go to like a fancy schmancy restaurant. So it was very laid back. So I wanted to be comfortable and stunning, um, but yet... Um, kind of casual and have like a little bit of a sultry vixen vibe so I knew the look that I wanted to do and this is um what I wore it's just like a flowy um loose off the shoulder blouse and it has like the little slits along the sleeve that you can see here and it's very flowy and very loose um and it's in black and I love it I also paired it with this little floral detail choker that you can see here and I accent it with minimalistic jewelry um, I did choose silver tones, as you can see here, just a simple bracelet and watch, just a little ring here, and um, just a little simple black, um, a simple diamond stud with a little black diamond um, accent, and also my blue tray just to kind of tie back into my navy blue look. Um, I also did a darker tone for the nails. The color that I am wearing this week, and I got these done on Valentine's Day, this is OPI's Black Onyx. And um, my accent fingers that you see here is uh, the OPI Black Onyx, but I did add a layer of uh, the color, the Living Daylight. So that is what is on my nails. Once again, OPI Black Onyx and the Living Daylight. And I love this color. I love this look. And so that is what I did. In case you're wondering about my eyeshadow, and I don't claim to be a beauty expert or a makeup artist or a guru or anything like that, I just know how to do what I know how to do, which is very little, so um, probably won't see me doing any makeup tutorials anytime soon, but maybe, maybe. Um, the color palette that I'm wearing is actually one of my favorites, maybe one of my only. This is a Wet n Wild palette. And I got this uh, maybe at a, a Target or something a long time ago, as you can see. I use this on a daily basis because I'm comfortable with it. Um, the palette color is number 738, Comfort Zone, and that's pretty much appropriate for, for me uh, in my makeup skills anyway. Um, I also primed my eye with this um, Heart Candy Smoky Eye Primer. And what I really loved about this is this kind of created the smoky eye for me. I didn't have to really do a lot of work. When you actually put it on, it's um, it's black. So you put it on and so it already kind of uh, tints your eye or kind of preps your eye for your color to go on top of it and to really help you create that smoky look that you're going for. But getting back to my L'Oreal Infallible Lip Paint. This was so fun to wear. They have so many different colors. And um, I was kind of curious about this because the way it's shaped, I actually thought that this would be like come out in like a tube form, maybe even like a lip gloss, but it doesn't. It actually um, applies with a little brush that you see here, like a little wand, and very easy to apply. You just put it on. It has the great um, shiny finish high gloss finish which I also love um, I did try to make this into a matte color and what I did was once I did my whole face I just kind of put my loose powder or my translucent powder over my lips blot it and then kind of dusted my translucent powder over it um, again and it actually did kind of create a, a cool little matte color too so this was super fun to wear super affordable because as you know um, I believe in beauty on a budget so this was like $9.99 at um, my local drugstore. I'm sure you can find these anywhere. So this was really fun to do. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. 
leave me a comment below let me know if you like the look if you love it if you don't love it um but i would really like your feedback and let me know what you guys want to see more of um thank you once again for stopping by be sure to follow me on any social media at the real black carrie bradshaw and you can also check out my blog at the real black carrie bradshaw.com thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time